Okay, this is a high pressure sodium lamp. It's made by Thorn GNE high intensity discharge lamp. I'll just get the bulb out. It's an E27 base. You can see the arc tube inside the high pressure sodium lamp. It's basically a thin line apart from the metal halide ones which are sort of round. I'm just going to put it in the fitting. This is a metal halide lamp here. Just replacing it with a Son lamp. Okay, put the bulb in to 70 watt Son lamp. Just got to look for the arrow which is up there. Son lamps, ones with an external igniter, require an igniter, external and internal. Internal igniter means a son lamp has got an igniter inside the bulb, but this one doesn't. Right, to get a son lamp working, you need a ballast, an igniter, and a capacitor. These are the three things you need to get the light working. The live earth and neutral. Now ready to connect the fitting up. To put this on This fitting doesn't have a sensor, but if you wanted to put one in, you drill it out and then you put the sensor on the top here, or light meter sensor. Then to put the fitting back, put the, make sure the clips are firmly secure. Once the clips are in, you have these little things here you have to do up. You turn it round. and it's the light secure. There's the sun lamp and I'm going to switch it on. Okay, I'm ready to switch on the high pressure sodium lamp. As you see when you first switch it on it lights up a bluish purple colour. That's the mercury vapour inside the bulb that's giving out that blue blue purple light. The light's turning more pink as the sodium beginning to shine. Now it's turning yellow as the sodium is outshining the mercury vapour inside the arc tube. The colour temperature of this lamp is about 2000 to 2200 kelvins. The kelvins is to do with colour temperature. If you imagine a rainbow when it's blend of colours, you've got the ultraviolet blue at the top end, the green and yellow in the centre, and then you've got the orange and red down on the bottom. The higher the kelvins, the more blue the light is. This lamp sits at about 2000 kelvins, which is quite low down, nearer to the red side of the spectrum. Sun tanning lamps, lamps that use for sun tan like uh, fluorescent tubes or uncoated mercury vapoured lamps produce a colour temperature of above 6,000 kelvins to 20,000 kelvins which is right up to the ultraviolet. This lamp, the colour of it is very similar to a setting sun. When the sun is setting low down in the sky it gives out that orange glow. Also it's similar to to a fire, if you look at a bonfire, the colour is very identical to that. In fact, it's making the whole this whole room look like it's on fire. 
it's nearly almost reached its full brightness. When you switch off a high pressure sodium lamp, the arc tube still glows up inside. I'll just show it to you. See, it's still glowing. It'll glow for about a minute. It's cooling down, the glow's starting to fade away.